Hey everybody, it's Grady here at Uncle Sweetie's Model Works, coming back to you with another video. Uh, this one is an update on my under 1,000 subscriber group build. The uh, Rebel Beretta Pro Street. I'm still kind of... <laughs> I, I hit another mistake that kind of... I won't say it set me back, but it, it... Oh, I don't know. It affected my attitude, my excitement a little bit. I... Uh, It'll be in the next video, because I've already done all the segments for this one. Um, I guess I'll just save that. But, but Bottom line is, I got too heavy-handed with the Duplicolor rattle cans. And hopefully in the next few videos, or by my next build, maybe I will have an airbrush completely set up, and I can be making mistakes on that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, the more mistakes you make, the better you get. So, anyway, here it is. I'm gonna, gonna put out what I've got. It's all still on, on paint, and my paint process is not done, I don't think. As I keep doing more, I keep wanting to do more. And once, once it's not perfect, and yeah, it, it's my third model kit, but this is what goes on in my head. Once I mess up the paint and it's not perfect, then I can try anything I want to. Because if I mess that up, so what? So, you know, when when you're working, and, and this doesn't matter. If you're a beginner, you're probably going to make a lot of mistakes. And we all know that if you are not a beginner, that you are going to make a lot of mistakes. Whichever one you are, whichever place you're at, when you make a mistake and that kit, that build, is no longer going to fit your vision, lean into trying new things. Practicing things that you've started learning. Because once it's imperfect, then it's imperfect. Just like, and, and what I'm talking about specifically, and you'll see it, and I just want to get it off here real quick, is along the way, um, I think you guys have seen the yellow and blue already. Um, if not, it's coming up. I decided I want not a pinstripe, but I, I want a separation in the body line. And I want it to be, I thought silver for a while, I want it to be green. I think green will look good. For the green that I want, and because I can't just go willy-nilly buy 700 different colors of paint, I will have to mix my own, which I've done in years past. I don't mind doing, but it, it's a process, and will I get the right color that I want? Well, you know, that's one problem. I, I want a line. I don't know if I want to do the body trim line, because that's going to look too thick and not exactly what I want. Do I want to tape off a pinstripe-ish style line? Do I want to hand paint a pinstripe-ish style line? Um, I don't know. But I'm going to try it. Because now that the build isn't perfect, if I make a mistake on something else, so what? There we are. Um... Like, subscribe, um, you know, share, hit the bell, whatever. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm just always trying to... Uh, ab above anything for me, this channel is about being real and about starting from wherever you're at to do something that you're passionate about. So, I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys, especially new builders. And even, even the older, more successful, more experienced model builders. I'm just out here keeping it real. So, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I genuinely appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Alright, boys and girls. My agenda for the day is uh, going to come back and show you these uh, pearl stripes. They didn't turn out as defined as I, was, as I would like them. And i um, just going to keep plugging along on getting some paintwork done. 
So here we go. Let me let me let me start with this. Maybe catch it in the light. Yeah, you can see him a little bit, just a hair. I was hoping they'd turn out more pearl. There's half a decent shot. <laughs> right right inside the glare. Um if you really look you can see they're they're well defined. I did good on the paintwork and the masking. They just they just not very pearly. They're just not very pearly. And then I did go ahead and do the uh racing stripes with with the blank in the middle of the hood scoop. And you can see those they're pretty good. Yeah, I still got the damn thing crooked. Um but you can see there on the hood Sort of where the edges are. Hopefully you guys can see it on your screen better than I can see it on my little phone. And then where they cut off square. Right about there and there. With the with the bare space in the middle. Um, I'm happy with it. Pretty much. It just, uh, I wish it was more pearly. I'll be back. I'm gonna test the new, test the new skill on the uh, using masking tape to stick the parts to paint stirrers. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I have paint stick from my local Ace Hardware, and to give them to you for free, which is amazing because most places sell them, and I have. Good old fashioned, it's Scotch Blue Painter's Tape, which the next time I get a roll, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to find something thinner. Um, I just, yeah, I just need thinner masking tape. And what I saw was you stick the tape, you stick an end and fold it over. And then I want to be about that much. And you fold it over on that end. I'm going to need to practice this. Uh, no. Don't want it like that. There. And then I've got a bowl full of parts. And let's see. Those we're not going to do with that. Those, actually I could do those like that. Um, that's going to go down, so we're going to do that. What else we have in here? Got. One thing I am worried about with this is that I blow these parts to kingdom come. Using a rattle can. Well, I haven't got off my butt to do the uh, get my airbrush set up or practice the airbrush yet. So I don't know if that one's gonna work or not. I'll give it a different shot. Anyway, this is the process. sticking pretty good I just as I spray either outside or in my basement I probably do these tonight and have to do them in the basement because it's dark outside I I don't want to you know the rattle cans a lot of pressure and I don't want to just blow them all over the basement and never find them again that's almost as bad as the uh, carpet monster so anyway it's what I'm going to do it's what I'm going to try so uh, probably come back after that and see how we did. Alright, here's a couple of things. I uh, got these all stuck on there. We're going to see see how they do. And this is the roll cage. Which needs to be the same color. But I've got... I had it put together pretty well. And then I broke it apart. 
because the glue didn't hold. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to leave that for just, I'm going to leave that for now, because I want to get some of the orange testers tube glue that I know will weld that together and will hold it the way I want it. And I will get some of the super fine tips that you can get also from testers. And if you happen to go that route, here's a little tip from from me. Um, get a straight pin, just a regular standard straight pin, to stick in the tip of that plastic nozzle, that precision nozzle for the tester's glue. It is the perfect size. You just push it all the way in there down to the tip. And it will keep it fresh and open and you won't have any issues. And you can use the tip for the whole life of the tube of glue. And then take it off and use it on another one. And that is a tip from 25 years ago. I am currently, because I'm going to do these window trims in the same color, which is going to be gloss black, as... All these other parts I'm doing. So I am masking this off right now. And then I'm going to do all this paint at one time. I'll be back after it's done, show you the results. All right, so here she is again, masked up yet again. So this time, hopefully, these uh, window trims will come out real good. I burnished the tape down, I cut them out, and then I burnished it down again around the edges. So hopefully it's sealed real well. Got both sides, were taped off all the way around. I did add the side mirrors so that they are black with the window trims like they're supposed to be. And I'm probably at some point have my eye on a set of burnishing tools as a uh, Mostly, I imagine they're used for leather work and uh, engraving and other different things. But I think they'll be good for certain things with modeling. In the meantime, um, I bit the corner off a Q-tip. And that hard edge, hard square edge of the stick with just a little bit of cotton left around it. Great for burnishing into those corners and the those edges that you can't even hardly see that are there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kids, don't bite the corners off of earbuds, cotton swabs, whatever the hell they are. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, like, yeah, if, if, if Uncle Sweetie is the voice of reason in the room, um, we're all going to be in deep trouble, so... Yeah, don't do some of those things that sound like they're stupid. Because they are. Um, I'm going to check times on videos. I'll probably put this up where it's at now. Go spray some paint. <laughs> as, as one of my woodworking gurus would say. Let it let us spray. And because that'll take some time to cure. Get everything else. You know, spray it. Spray it again, bake it in the Easy Bake Oven, and maybe that'll be a new video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Please uh, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I know most people don't share videos, but if you feel like it, share a video. Um, I'm not going to ask you to hit those notification bells, because I'll be perfectly honest, I never do. I've got too much going on on my phone and my emails and, and beeping and buzzing and vibrating all the damn time. And it's just, <laughs> it was overwhelming a long time ago without YouTube. So, I mean, if you, if, you want, if you want notifications every time I post a video, by all means, hit one. But leave me a comment down below. Um, damn it, I had a question today, too. How about this one? Question of the day. Do you use this method for painting mass quantities of small parts the same color? If you do, how well does it work? If you use another method outside of the 
Alex. <laughs> Let's keep it PG-13, Grady. Alligator clips. Um, because that's not what I've known them as all my life, mostly. Um, yeah, just let me, and if it is the alligator clips, let me know. I, I, my, my issue with alligator clips is a lot of these parts need to be painted on the whole visible surface. And this way, you can just spray all the visible surfaces as they're taped down right now. And then flip them over when they're cured. Stick them back to new tape and spray the other side. So, yeah, that, that's my question of the day. Answer it in the comments down below to let me know you watched till the end of the video. How do you paint mass quantities of small parts the same color? Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day.